Really think our game delivered what you expect out of an 8-9 game, out of a uh, game where two teams have played each other twice already this year and eight times over the last four years. It was rugged. It was hard to score on both ends because we do know each other so well. Um, the, the atmosphere that's, that the SEC creates for the tournament is so enjoyable for our kids. I think we were a little nervous because of that. Uh, and we missed a few shots that I think tomorrow will fall for us. But um, just the way this team has played all year long, you knew there was a run coming. Um, and it was just a slight difference over a team that I've got a lot of respect for in Missouri. Uh, and, I, and I think it was a great battle between two teams that should be in the NCAA tournament. Question for the student athletes. For those joining us on Zoom, please submit your questions in the Q&A, please. Amber, Amber, what was the difference between the first half and the second half with how they were defending you, or was it something that just clicked offensively for you? Um, I think it was I missed a couple easy shots in the first half. And in the second half, I just let the game come to me. I didn't force a lot of shots. And my teammates kept giving me confidence to shoot the same shots that I got in the first half. Sasha, what did coach say to you after you had that block in overtime? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell him. He was uh, talking about how there's no way I shouldn't have been on the SEC all defensive team. And he just t told me, keep doing what I'm doing. And he's proud of me. Barry. I've got a question for you, Amber, on Zoom. What did you see from Michaela and her toughness, especially on the boards? I think Mac had a career night on board. She had 14 rebounds, um, and that's great. I'm glad Mac is back um, on the court with us. Um, it just gives us another score, another defender, another uh, playmaker, and having her back is a great thing for us. Sasha, what were you able to do to limit Frank offensively? Um, I just tried to be in her way. Uh, the coaches have talked a lot about, in preparation for this game, being knee-to-knee -knee with her. I think I've made the mistake in the past thinking I was there and close enough, but I wasn't. So I made sure today to not make that same mistake. Amber, what were you guys able to do as a team to stay patient even in overtime? Um, I think our, Michaela and Sam did a great job of controlling the pace, um, when to push it, when to slow it down. Um, Sasha made a big shot in that in overtime, and I think we did a great job defensively. Sasha did a great job defensively the whole game and limiting Haley Frank. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thank you, Amber and Sasha. You're free to leave. Thanks. Thank you. See you we'll open time. questions for coach. All right, I'll see you. Hey, coach. Um, how do you think that um, Missouri did defensively as far as like holding Amber Ramirez scoreless in the first half and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, Robin and her staff are as good as it comes when it comes to prepare, preparing a team. Uh, and I think they all, you know, the two times we played them, Amber's been able to get free a lot. And it was obviously a focus. They, they switched a lot of actions. They face guarded her. They kept fresh legs on her. Um, and, and that comes down to preparation and their kids going out and executing it. I thought their kids were very disciplined. When we would drive it at that side, that defendant's player never left Amber. Uh, in their ball screen action, they did a really good job of, of getting into Amber's space. She's so good at... We call it a hostage dribble, you know, getting you on the back of somebody and, and making them a hostage. She couldn't get to that point in the first half. Uh, we changed a little bit of our screening angle at the second half, and I think that was the difference. But Missouri was so well prepared uh, coming into the game. I think uh, they've been, you know, having played us so many times, you learn. Uh, and we knew it was going to take option C, D, or E. It wasn't going to be A, B, or C tonight. Hey, Coach, in a game where – it just seemed like shots wouldn't fall. Layups yep. would not fall. Your defense step up. You were, we were talking about blocks. You guys had 10 blocks today. How nice is it to know that if your offense isn't clicking, that defense was locked down. If this game didn't go into overtime, Missouri was sub 50. I think this is the first press conference I've ever talked about our defense winning the game, but it, I think it happened. Um, because the shots weren't falling, we, had to, we knew we had to do it on that end. If we hadn't have been guarded on the other end, we'd have been down 15 or 20 instead of five or six. So, um, you know, it, I think a lot of it has to do with how we react on the sidelines. We have a group of kids that's such a pleasing group. If we miss a layup and you see all of us over there go, oh, you know, instead they feed off of that. And I think we've, we, we, we made it a point tonight that 
That wasn't going to be it. We were just next shot, next play. Let's go get a stop on the other end. I wouldn't have told you that. I, if you would have told me we were going to hold them to 29.9%, I would not have predicted an overtime. You know, I, I would have thought that would be enough to win the game. But it wasn't tonight. I'm glad that we had it. Sasha, as I mentioned, I think has proven herself. And, and, and our team, I get it. There's not one player on that defensive team that should not have been on it. I'm not one of those coaches. There's not one player you could take off of it. They're all good. We just needed more this year on the team because we had a, a five classes of kids. I wish that class would, you know, we could have done something. I know we can't, but I just wanted Sasha to know that it's better to not get an award that you deserve than the vice versa. Uh, and in our, we all know that she's one of the best defensive players uh, in, in the conference, and I just wanted to make sure she knew that. You guys have now been able to beat Missouri three times this season and won the last seven matchups against them. What, do you, what is it about the way you guys match up with Missouri that's allowed you to have so much success? I, I, don't, I, I really can't tell you that. It amazes me because we've all been good games. They've everyone been competitive. There's not been a, a, a time when I ever felt comfortable. So I, I think it's just a bad matchup for them and a good matchup for us. That happens from time to time. Three times in one year, you know, that dispels a really old coaching – uh, cliche about it's hard to beat a team three times in the year, which it is, but it's not impossible if, if you've got a, a good plan and your kids execute a variety of different ways. Um, Missouri's matchup with, you know, Haley Frank is such a good player, and, um, you know, with the, the addition of LaDaisia Williams, uh, and then you put shooters like Hanson and Troop around, and, and a fast player like Dembele, it, it is a real struggle to try to guard those guys, but I didn't know it was seven in a row, but I, I am shocked because the games have been so good. Coach, with this one now behind you, how do you prepare for South Carolina tomorrow? Yeah, um, you celebrate this one for as long as you possibly can. It's not the move on when we get to the hotel. Uh, enjoy this until well past midnight. I'll talk to you at breakfast. Um, it's been a while since we've played them. We played them pretty early in the season. Um, you know, and, and all we've had a chance to do is just know what we've all know, what everybody in this league knows is that they're the best team in the country. You've got to hope that you catch them maybe, you know, a little bit uh, off. Uh, we want to take advantage. I think it's our advantage in the first half tomorrow, having played today. Sometimes being that team that's been set, and sometimes, I'm not saying all time, sometimes it's your advantage in the first half. So we got to be ready to take advantage of that. But, um, you know, our athletic training staff will be the most important people in the, in the hotel tonight. We went all in. We didn't play a very deep bench tonight. I felt like this game was so important when it comes to the postseason with NCAA implications that we find a way to win the 8-9 the game in this league this year, which I think the SEC is deserving of a record number of teams in the tournament. So I thought we needed to play how many ever we need to play tonight to win. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play a lot more kids tomorrow, a lot earlier, I can promise you. We've got some questions on Zoom. Okay. What does it say about Michaela that she had her first career double-double? Is it her first? And she drew nine fouls, so that's almost a triple-double. Um, here's what I think you look down at. That plus 12. When she was in the game, we were plus 12. And then you look to the other side of the stat sheet, and you see three for 17. I would have thought that was mathematically impossible to go three for 17 but still have a lineup that was plus 12. That shows you how valuable her defensive and rebounding is. So I'm proud Matt got her a double-double. I, I, I didn't know it was her first. It won't be her last, that's for sure. What was your halftime conversation like, and was there something you specifically said to Amber to help her get in her groove? No, it was a, a little adjustment Coach Todd made in the offense, just getting her in a couple of different spots and trying to get the matchups. They were switching everything in the first half to where uh, it ended up being Dembele Gardner. So we ran a, coup, a couple of actions that didn't involve ball screens. And then we did point out to our, our guards, as we were driving it, Amber was open behind the drive several times, and that was really what got her going. She made one of those, so we just pointed that out. It was really calm in there. Uh, we didn't talk for very long. Uh, we let, you know, as the year goes along, we spend a lot more time as coaches outside so that the kids can talk to themselves because they usually find a way to fix it, and, and I, they had it fixed by the time we got in there. You joked on the broadcast about a defensive battle not being a common win for your team. <laughs> what was different about this game? Uh, I think that we've been through it uh, in the past. These games, we kind of get frustrated and we, we get down and we wouldn't have a way to um, end up on the winning side of that because our frustrations would get the better of us. But this their positive talk to each other, like keep hanging in there defensively, keep getting stops, the shots are going to fall, keep driving it in there and encouraging each other. 
you know, Mac, y'all could see Mac visibly when she would miss a layup there late in the game, you know, her shoulders and her, and, and people told her to stop doing that. And um, I, I just think that's the difference. Our team is, even though we're still really, really young and years old, uh, experiences and adversities and situations, we're getting, we're getting more under our belt. That's all we have. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you all.